crossfire begins before the jury is even seated in Officer Wes Carrick's trial after Jonathan Farrell's family civil attorney Christopher Chestnut uttered these words. From a legal analysis, so I think the video tells the story. That dash cam tells the story. Um, and so if the jury sees that, I'm confident that they'll come back um, with a guilty verdict. Minutes later, if I were a defense attorney and I had this evidence against me, I would have pled pleaded guilty. Officer Carrick's attorneys George Lauren and Michael Green fired back a day later on paper. Any attorney should know that all citizens of the United States of America have the Sixth Amendment right to trial by jury. During the press conference Monday, the Farrell family attorney maintained Farrell was on his knees saying no when Officer Carrick shot him 10 times. Officer Carrick's attorneys rebutted in their statement, writing, they're deeply troubled. An attorney would distort the truth in order to sway public opinion and taint a jury pool. The letter gives their argument of how the shooting happened, saying Farrell was on top of Officer Carrick attempting to obtain his service weapon. Whether dash cam video captured that moment isn't clear. CMPD has only shown it to Farrell's family and attorneys on each side, and the judge hasn't decided whether it will be public during trial. WCCB Charlotte legal contributor James Ferguson says attorneys on both sides should be careful about influencing the public or jury. What, what's critically important is whether anything is taking place that will affect uh, the outcome of the trial other than the evidence as it's presented in court. I showed Farrell's family this statement to give them a chance to respond, but they left the courthouse with no comment. Courtney Francisco, WCCB News.